application of greatest integer functions. An express mail company charges $25 for a package weighing up to 2 pounds. For each additional pound or fraction of a pound, there's an additional charge of $3. Let y equals d of x represent the cost to send a package weighing x amount of pounds. Graph the function y equals d of x for x over the interval of 0, 6. All right, so let's begin. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our graph there. We're asked to uh, graph this function uh, over uh, an interval between 0 and 6. Let's start with the first interval. So the package uh, charge is $25 for up to 2 pounds. So that means that even if you have a package that weighs a half a pound, 1 pound, uh, it doesn't matter. All the way up to 2 pounds, it's going to cost you $25. So that's your first interval. So from zero all the way up to two pounds, uh, it's going to cost you $25. So we can go ahead and graph that particular interval, uh, starting bringing the bar up to uh, 25, which is somewhere between 20 and 30. Uh, and then our constant is going to be from zero uh, all the way to 2 because that's where it stops after there after that point you're going to pay more money uh, if your package weighs more than 2 pounds so from this point uh, the next interval is gonna jump up because you're gonna wind up paying more so what did they say the additional charge was well the additional charge is three dollars so a package weighing more than two pounds all the way up to three pounds uh, you have to add three dollars to that so 25 plus three that's going to cost you uh, 28 dollars that's our next interval and that interval again is from two to three pounds so we can go ahead and uh, graph that so we're going to move our um, our circle up to the 28 mark uh, which should be somewhere around here and it's going to be from 2 to 3 because it is that point that you're going to pay the $28 now notice you have an open circle once we jumped up because uh, it's 2 pounds so at 2 pounds uh, you're still paying the $25. It's after the two pounds is where the extra charge come in at that you pay. And that extra charge is going to be all the way up to uh, three pounds. So what happens if it weighs more than three pounds? Well, we have to add an additional $3 to that. So 28 plus uh, three and that's going to be an interval of a package weighing between three and four pounds so now we're going to jump up to 31 and our interval is going to be between three and four you're going to pay uh, 31 dollars so what if a package weighs more than four pounds okay so if the package is between four and four five pounds we have to add another three dollars to that uh, and that's that interval of four to five you're gonna pay thirty four dollars so we can move our bar up to thirty four and let's graph that constant between three and four I mean uh, excuse me between four and five let's graph that constant all right, and then we have uh, one last one. Uh, so let's say the package is more than five pounds. So we got to add another three dollars to that. That's going to bring us to thirty-seven. So we're going to move um, up. We're going to move our circle up to thirty-seven, and that's going to be anything that weighs between five and six. That's that last interval, and we're going to go ahead and graph that. And so there you have it. 
Uh, there we have created um, a greatest integer function based on the information that we were given uh, over the interval of 0 to 6. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this video to be helpful. Have a great day.